So today I've returned to one of Krabby's best dive sites. It's called Anemone Reef. And you can see from this opening shot why it's called Anemone Reef. It's a large pinnacle. It starts at about 30 meters and rises to within four or five meters of the surface. It's also got lots and lots of these very large barrel sponges. And much of the reef has also very large and old Gorgonian sea fans. Uh, if you look closely on any of the sea fans, you're likely to find life living in amongst them. This is a banded boxer shrimp. Uh, it's quite unusual to find them on their own. They're normally hanging around in pairs or even as a group, and they're a kind of cleaner shrimp. Anemone Reef is home to two resident tiger tail seahorses that I am aware of. There's probably more, uh, but the good thing about tiger tail seahorses is when you find them, you can go back again and again to look at them. Uh, I've been filming this one here on and off for the last two or three months, and he's always on the same sea fan. The odd-shaped fish at the top of the frame there is a kind of puffer fish. Uh, his common name is porcupine puffer fish. Like all puffer fish, they will puff or bloat when they feel threatened. It's a classic self-defense mechanism, making them appear larger than they really are. They're a very difficult fish to film. They always tend to swim away from the camera, just like that guy did. This is a good example of the Gorgonian sea fans that are found on much of the reef. And this fish here is one of my favorite fish to film. He's called a two-line threadfin brim. And obviously he gets his name from the two lines that run down the length of his body. You'll see in the next shot. But one of the reasons I love to shoot them is they have this amazing ability to stay absolutely motionless. And here's a good example here. He's moving all his fins, his pectoral fins, his caudal fins, his tail fin. They're all moving together and he's able to remain in perfect position no matter what the current so they're a really nice easy fish for me to film and if you film them in the sunlight the skin tends to glow with this golden sheen this is a classic scene anywhere on an enemy reef soft coral tons of fish it really is a fantastic dive site. It's called Anemone Reef. You can get there from Pipi, Krabby, or Phuket.